I want to share with you today why I've flown from Australia to Los Angeles to spend three days at consulting.com where I spend in a year probably about the same amount of money that I could buy a Red Epic for and why am I doing that and what can you learn from it? Why have I flown all the way to Los Angeles to come to a business event? I think it's really important that everyone has a coach and a mentor. And I am not out with that realm. I coach filmmakers for a living in how to run their business better. But I do it from a place of not just experience, but also from a place of working with some of the best coaches and mentors in the world so that I'm up to date with what's happening in YouTube ads, what's happening with TikTok, what's happening with Facebook, and what's happening with coaching in general. And so I am a member of a coaching program here in the US, a guy called Sam Ovens, and so there's Quantum Mastermind. There are 100 businesses in this mastermind. It's 36,000 US dollars a year. I've just spent another six or 7,000 dollars on this trip to come to America. Why do I do that? Well, because I, I want to continually have an edge. I never want to rely solely on what I've already learned. The power of a great mastermind is not just the person who's teaching the mastermind, who's sharing his or her wisdom or knowledge on what they're finding is working just now, but it's all of the people in the room. Now, I spend every other week for uh, the last year on a call with these really smart business owners it's two hours a week and I pick up so many notes, so many little bits, which I then share with my mastermind if it's relevant. A recent one was the introduction of short form ads on YouTube. Now I learned that way before it was public knowledge and shared it with my mastermind, VBA elite masterminders in the group. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this next three days. We're going to spend a lot of time looking at what's working now what's coming up and learning from each other in the room. And that is one of the benefits of a mastermind. And that's why I started my masterminds is because as a business owner in video, it can be very lonely. And if you're lonely and there's no one to talk to about the challenges you have in business, it makes for a very tough existence. And if you add to that, the long hours you're working, delivering client projects, technical problems, internet problems, gear problems, it really helps to um, have people to talk to. And I was just actually on the plane over looking at some testimonials we'd recorded in Edinburgh mm. and listening to the stories of my members and how mm. where they were a year and a half ago and yeah. where they are now Our growth is and how they overcame their own resistance to coaching or they overcame their scepticism to it. And they all shared that the training alone was worth the investment, but the, the icing on the cake was the people they met, that they interacted with, and who they were able to form relationships with and build friendships. But more than that, being in a room each week, virtually, with people going through the same problems. And that is why I have invested, I think at the last count, it was about $230,000 in masterminds. It's probably coming up for 300,000 US dollars now in masterminds over the last 10 or so years. And everyone I know who's successful in business either has a coach or a mastermind group that they meet with regularly to gain perspective on what they're doing in their business and if they're doing the right thing or they could be trying something differently. And the other thing that's powerful about masterminds is the shortcuts. It's speaking to someone who's already done the thing you're trying to do and discovering that there might be an easier pathway. I had it a few weeks ago. I was running some YouTube ads and I was getting great click-through rate on my YouTube ads, but they weren't converting. And one member on in the Quantum Mastermind said, oh, have you got an exclusion list? And the exclusion list was all the sites you didn't want your ads to show up and all the apps you didn't want your ads to show up. And he made me this little loom video, showed me exactly how to do it. And that's probably gonna save me 20 or $30,000 over the next year because I'm not you know, sending ads to places, places that there's not gonna be any conversion. 
So that's on the kind of practical side. But more than anything, I think just flying over here from Australia, I took a flight from home in Brisbane to Sydney, and from Sydney to San Francisco, and from San Francisco, which is a 13 and a half hour flight to Los Angeles. Why do I come to this event? Because I want to make sure the advice I'm giving to my clients is current, accurate, and make sure I'm not missing anything. And so I just wanted to share this with you um, because I thought, why waste the opportunity to come on this journey? Um, some cool stuff happened today. I uh, flew over uh, one infinite loop in Cupertino and I was able to see that from the sky, which was pretty cool. But one of the things that really drives me is learning. I have a, a real thirst for learning. And I love to learn and absorb from other businesses, other industries, and then put that through the lens of a videographer. And from there, think about how I can share that knowledge and information with my members and with my free community. If you haven't joined my free community yet, we have a free community called Scale Your Video Business. It's completely free. There's a mini course in there. And the reason for that is I want you to try some of my content to see if it works for you. So make sure you click on the link below if you want to join that. So one of the things that I love most about coming to events is the fact that I get away from the office, away from the business. I'm here in El Segundo in LA. It's Sunday morning, the sun is shining. You can hear the airport's just over here. And it's a really great way to step back from your business, step back from your life, and just look at things with a fresh perspective. Now, I have been doing this kind of thing for a good 10 years. I'm very big on visioning the future you want. And so I suggest you can watch this video here about creating a vision board so you can design your future.